Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We are talking about keeping your smile red carpet ready with the absolute gorgeous Dr. Tori Weitzman is in the house. And you know, oh. you are such an expert. One, thank you so much for being so welcoming. Of I had the course. chance to get red carpet ready smile with you. Yes. And it was an incredible experience. Mm -hmm. One, from your office to your staff, mm -hmm. but you. You made me so comfortable. Yeah. And I know you work with a slew of celebrities. You've right. done some really great celeb smile makeovers. We have, yeah. Would you mind sharing a few of us? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can see a lot of them on Instagram. I mean, yeah. we did all of the uh, Orange is the New Black. Remember that show? Of course. Um, a lot of those girls, you oh, know, nice. came in as patients. Um, a lot of the big models these days. Carly Kloss. Uh, Haley Baldwin, Bieber now, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the official then, Miss to Miss America too, right? Miss America and uh, Miss USA, New York, and hopefully California soon. Wow. wow. Incredible. Yeah. A smile says so much. Definitely. It's the one thing you person. can't hide too. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's either you're smiling or you're not exactly. smiling. <laughs> exactly. It, you know, and it's super trendy to keep your smile very white. Yeah. So what are some of the popular treatments that you're doing? So there are probably about three or four main things that I do. I would say the most popular and the quickest way to get that bright smile for like the Emmys or like red carpet would be a whitening. About 45 minutes, you can get about five to seven shades lighter. Um, then if you really want that pop, that Hollywood smile, I do a lot of smile makeovers with porcelain veneer, so that's super popular too. And then straightening teeth with Invisalign, we do that. That takes a little bit longer. Um, and then we do like minor tweaking, like if you don't like the shape of some of your teeth, we can like bond and recontour, but those are more of the minor things. Wow. Yeah. It really is amazing how somebody's smile, you can judge their whole personality or like it really affects well, that's the thing. somebody's it's, structure of the face too. Right? It's structure of the face but it's more about the confidence. You know I have people coming in that'll start talking like this yeah. and then you think about well how does that affect their social interactions mm -hmm. every day? How does that affect what they're putting out into the world? They're afraid to go on job interviews or date or you know sometimes we get patients that you know have just gone through a divorce mm -hmm. and this is like a new way to like start fresh mm -hmm. or just finish chemo for breast cancer, like, let's start fresh. So a lot of times it's just like that thing they need to move forward. Mm -hmm. So how'd you build such a successful business, one that everybody one loves? At a one patient at a time. Patient at time. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, and keeping your own teeth looking good. Honestly, <laughs> it was literally is, you know, when I start, you, you can't think too far ahead. You know, my one of my favorite sayings is, you can only look as far as your headlights show, yeah. and mm -hmm. then, then you do it again, and then you do it again, and then you do it again. So my main practice is based in New York, and I start that from scratch. And then a lot of my patients are bi-coastal. So just recently I started coming out to LA, which I love. Um, but it's really, you know, it's a lot of relationship building. It's, I think everything is, you know, each patient is a story. It's not just a smile. Did you study that. dentistry? I did. did okay. I, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you knew that this was kind of the direction you wanted to go. Well, yeah. I went to art school growing up mm -hmm. and I always wanted to be some sort of doctor. So what I do now is like cosmetic. Mm -hmm. So it's like a great combination of the two. Well, come to LA and you will never be out of work. That's, yes. well, that's, <laughs> the, I, to me. that's the idea. <laughs> exactly. That's the idea. Yeah, what can you share with our viewers at home who want to get a, you know, that bright white red carpet smile? If they've got the Zoom treatment, how do they maintain post? Yeah, so the Zoom treatment will get you really light because it is hydrogen peroxide. But of course, like coffee, tea, red wine, all those things. Guilty will, as charged. Everybody is. I mean, you know, I already said how much coffee I have a day, you know. <laughs> so after the whitening treatment, you could do like Crest White Trips, you know, definitely come in for your regular six month checkups. That removes like the external stains, um, an electric toothbrush. I don't know if I already said that. A whitening toothpaste. So there are definitely things you can do after the whitening to kind of maintain your smile because nothing is forever, right? You got to keep it up. Well, does it affect the quality of the tooth though? Because I've heard it strips enamel and we're just damaging our teeth. Mm -hmm. No, I've done literally hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of these over the years. And no, I haven't seen any damage. It literally just, uh, have you ever seen like a Tide pen work where it like fizzles? Same yeah. Concept, yes. The hydrogen peroxide just lifts the stains off the external enamel. It doesn't do any damage. Um, if it, it did, feel I would a little weird. Like sometimes it, it can, can be a little yeah, tingly, it can. sensitive, like, but that, yeah, like don't be afraid and, of that. No, don't. Like I've had it, you know, I had whitening like two weeks ago and I had sensitivity, but it only lasts about 24 hours. So okay. it's not permanent. So it's not oh, so that's bad. huge. That's good to know. Oh yeah, that's most people, that's their concern. Will it hurt? Will it be sensitive? When you go to the dentist, everyone's got that fear about it, but you know, as long as you know what to expect. Do you ever look at people or see people and they're like, their teeth are just like, and you know that if they just whiten them, you're like, <laughs> I, can do for you. I mean, look, I think I look at people and I, I, I can always see the 2.0 version of them. 
<laughs> and I think most of us can too. And you're like, gosh, just a little tweak there. But you know what? We can all have a 2.0 version of ourselves. So yeah, definitely. I mean, I pick that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. But course. I just, I think it's not so much how they look. I just know that certain things will make people feel better about themselves, feel more confident. You know, it's kind of life changing for some people. It's it's one of the biggest anti aging things we do is smile makeovers. Ah, mm -hmm. that's you interesting. Know, people, yeah, we're talking about, you know, we just had this question recently about menopause, not menopause, menopause. Like, what are men doing at that age now to kind of make as an, themselves yeah. look younger? younger. And teeth whitening, obviously, is one of and, them. And and you know, smile makeovers with veneers. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. When should a person yeah. consider like veneers? Like, at what point do you? recommend people so start to I, I like to be conservative in general because veneers are a little bit more you know it's more than teeth whitening sometimes we have to remove a little bit of tooth structure my biggest thing with uh, aside from the physical how it looks is it is it interfering with how you feel about yourself is it interfering with your day-to-day -day? like are you so self-conscious about your smile that you're having trouble you know interacting or is it keeping you back from life right at that point you say okay let me do something so if your teeth are um, yellowed stained chipped uh, we can change the color the size we can do a lot of things you know we work with the harmony of the face so we accentuate certain features or you know take away from other features that you don't want me not mm -hmm. want to notice as much so it's not just about the smile but it's really about the facial aesthetics you want it to complement everything and you want mm -hmm. to look natural. I mean, totally, so, so, I totally so want it to look. Out there that yeah, look good. it depends which coast I'm on. Okay, okay. <laughs> it depends which How coast I'm on. So, so I would say New York. Um, natural is probably best. I've had patients say, you know, if this doesn't look natural, I'm going to be really upset. You know, and then we go with the natural. Here, it's you know, it's it's a little different. You know, Extreme. The, the, so here's the perfect chiclets. You know, I wouldn't say chiclets, but they're, they don't mind, you don't, you know, they don't mind as much if it doesn't look as natural. Like brighter mm -hmm. is better. Like, can you go? How much? How white can we get? Oh yeah. uh, well, you thank know. you so much for giving me my 2.0 version. You didn't need much. Yeah. Getting me ready for the Emmys this week. And tell everyone where they can find and follow you. Uh, Dr. Victoria DDS on Instagram and ViteSmanDDS.com. Oh, thank you so Love much, Dr. Victoria. Thank Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Good morning, Wildland.